Octoman comes in with a power supply question. And it is, Mr. Tech Deals, I'm stumped on the fact that a 650 watt PSU doesn't cut it for the next gen GPUs. Is a 750 watt the bare minimum? Yes, no, and it depends. What graphics card? What CPU? What else is in your computer? If you plan to do an i9-10850K build and you plan to overclock to 5.2 gigahertz and you're getting an RTX 3080, not only do you need a 750 watt power supply, I would encourage you to have at least an 850. 750 would be the minimum, but 850 would give you some headroom. I've done some power draw testing and it's pushing it. It's it, 750 works, but you're you're pulling like 80 to 90% of your power supply. And if you do this for a length of time, it wears your power supply out, increases risk of failure. It reduces the efficiency of your power supply. A thousand watt power supply would actually not be overkill in that scenario. A 3080 or 3090 with an i9K chip overclocked because the thousand watt power supply would put the power draw in the middle of the, the power band curve. It would make your power supply more efficient the fan would turn slower, it'd make less heat, it would last longer. It just, it puts less stress on the components. It's not required, but it wouldn't be crazy either. Now, what if you've got a Ryzen 7 3700X and a RTX 3070? Uh, yep, RTX 3070. Or an RX 6800 or 6800XT. 750 watts is not required. A 650 would be plenty for that. Well, especially if you're not overclocking, if you're just at stock. You can't overclock a 3700X enough to matter. Exactly. You run into the voltage and power wall before you could pull an i9-10900K at five gigahertz. Now, 100% CPU utilization, we are not talking about gaming. We're talking about rendering, blender, etc. You can pull 250 watts through an i9 without trying very hard. Correct. If you go to 5.1 or 5.2, 300 watts is possible. But of course, if you're pulling that much power from your CPU, your GPU is probably not being used. That is not a gaming scenario. In fact, if you look at the videos on, the, on, our, on our channel, you'll see that in the benchmarks with the i9, we're actually usually pulling about 100 watts on the CPU, not 250 because the CPU is only 50% used and all of like the ABX instructions and all the additional uh, advanced instructions aren't being used for gaming where they would be used in a blender render. Mm -hmm. So the power draw comes way down on your CPU if you're not rendering, but then of course your GPU goes way up and a factory overclocked for the Win 3 from EVGA is pushing 400 watts on a 3080. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> so if you've got a lower power chip the Ryzen chips do, do pull less power than Intel. That's simply a fact. Or if you're not overclocking, which helps, or if you've got a 6800 XT or a 3070 instead of a 3080, those will all help make a 650 watt power supply enough. But yes, for the past couple of years with the 10 series and the 20 series, you haven't needed these 800 watt power supplies to be impressive. I mean, you know, 650 has been a completely reasonable choice for several years now. Until today. I wouldn't make a further aside to this. If you've got i9 10850K money and RTX 3080 money, yeah. is a hundred dollar power supply gonna, gonna ruin you? I mean, you can get an 850 watt 80 plus gold power supply for around $100. In fact, we've done several promotions for those around $100. We have. You're looking at $400 for the CPU at $800 for the, that's a $1,200 combo. Yep. Plus motherboard, plus SSDs, plus, you know, it's annoying, especially if you already have a nice 650, but not a deal killer. I'll, I'll chuck that down to the annoying but doable category.